In this video, we'll be looking at the player interface. The player is where designers and invited users can preview, test, and comment on a prototype. The player interface can be accessed by clicking the preview button at the top right hand side of the editor or by opening a share link shared by a designer. To preview a prototype on a mobile device, you need to use the native Proto.io app, which is available for iOS and Android. Users are automatically prompted to do that when they open a share link on a mobile device. Depending on the settings set by the designer, the player interface may look different to invited users. At the center of the player is the prototype inside the device skin. The prototype is fully interactive and allows users to test it. On the right is the sidebar, which gives you some information about your prototype at the top, such as the project title and the device for which it was designed. Below that is the screens navigator, and below that is the comments section. At the bottom, you can find the different ways a designer can share a prototype with other users. To the left of the screen's navigator is a toolbar, which is a collection of tools you can use to interact with the player. Let's take a closer look at the screen's navigator. The screen's navigator allows users to quickly switch to any screen of the prototype. By default, your screens are shown in thumbnail view. You can also choose to view your screens in list view. The designer can choose to disable the screen's navigator for other users when sharing the prototype. Let's move on to the editor's comments section. The designer can allow users to leave feedback on their project when sharing it. When this feature is enabled, you can click anywhere on the screen, either within or outside the device skin to leave a comment. All comments are visible in the editor's comments section. If you want to learn more about this feature, you can watch our comments and annotations video. In the sharing section, you can easily send a link by SMS message to preview your prototype on your mobile device using the Send to Mobile feature. Through this section, designers can also share their prototype by using share links. You can learn more about this feature by watching our video on sharing. Additionally, designers can export individual screens to PDF or PNG. To do this, you must first capture the screen you want to export and then choose the format you want to export to. Let's take a look at the toolbar. At the top is the Hide Sidebar button, which hides the entire sidebar. Below that is the Refresh Preview button, which brings the preview back to its original state. Below that, you can simulate a device rotation by clicking the Change Orientation button. The Change Skin option allows you to choose a light, dark, or no device skin, as well as change the background color. The Show Hotspots toggle can enable or disable viewing the interaction areas of the prototype when a non-interactive area is tapped. This toggle can be disabled by the designer when sharing their project. The Show Click Effect feature shows a circle around the mouse pointer when the mouse is clicked. This is useful when you're recording your screen so that clicks can be seen in the video. The Zoom features below can be used to zoom in and out of the prototype preview. To return to the original size and fit the prototype to your screen, you can use the Fit to Screen button. These are all the features of the Proto.io player. Well, thanks for watching.